I am in the final year of a master's in data science course and picking the right laptop for this field not as easy as it sounds. Looking back there are 5 major things I wish I knew before starting my data science career. Things that could have saved me a lot of time, money and headache. I am bringing in real world experience both from my time in data science and years of reviewing laptops. If your work is mostly data cleaning, analysis and python scripting, don't get caught up in the GPU hype. We don't need one. What really makes a difference? A fast CPU like the Intel Core i5. Ryzen 5 or better, paired with 16GB RAM and an NVMe SSD. That's all you need to run Pandas, NumPy and SQL efficiently. Once you dive into machine learning, AI or large scale data pre-processing, you need a high core count processor like Intel Core i7, i9, Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9 or Apple's M series with clock speeds above 3.5 GHz, a 16MB plus L3 CAS for handling large dataset in memory, and NVMe SSD is non-negotiable. SATA SSDs and HDDs will kill your workflow with slow write and read speeds. For training deep learning models, you need a NVIDIA GPU. Now keep this in mind, skip AMD GPUs for deep learning. They don't support CUDA, so frameworks like the TensorFlow and PyTorch won't run efficiently. Now if your model outgrows your hardware, cloud platforms like the Google Colab, AWS SageMaker and Azure ML let you tap into powerful GPUs and TPUs without buying expensive hardware. So if you are looking for a laptop between 35,000 to 60,000 rupees, so let's break down the best option for data science in this price range. Now, if you are just starting with the Python scripting, SQL and basic ML, these options get the job done without breaking the bank. So the very first laptop in this list is the Lenovo V15. It includes Ryzen 7 7700U, 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD. Now the second option is the Acer Aspire 5 that is priced around 36,990. It includes Intel i3-1215U, 8GB RAM and 512GB of SSD. It's good enough for matplotlib, a small scale python automation and a spreadsheet analysis. But anything heavier like ML model training will feel sluggish. Now if you are getting into machine learning, deep learning or GPU accelerated workloads, these laptops step up the game. The first laptop is the Acer Nitro 5 which is priced around 62,990. It includes Ryzen 5 6600H, RTX 3050 with 6GB VRAM, 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD. It is the only laptop in this list that comes with a 6GB VRAM graphic card. So you can say it is the most powerful in this list. A great pick for large dataset handling, ML algorithms and faster data pre-processing. It can handle random forest, logistic regression and even light neural networks with ease. Now the next laptop in this list is the Asus Tough Gaming A15 which is priced around 63,990. It includes Ryzen 7 7435HS, 4GB of RTX 3050, 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD. It is slightly less powerful as compared to the Acer Nitro 5 to 2GB less VRAM. It offers real parallel computing power, making it great for TensorFlow, PyTorch and heavier ML workloads. Now if you are diving into AI development, a dedicated GPU isn't just nice to have, it's a necessity. Now if you are ready to level up and invest in a 60 to 80 thousand laptop for machine learning, you are in the sweet spot of this entire video. At this budget, you get a solid hardware for small scale machine learning models, Jupyter Notebook and TensorFlow. Just keep in mind, it won't be enough for massive deep learning models. So let's break down the best option in this price range. By the way, I've already reviewed some of these laptops. So if you want a detailed breakdown, check out the links down below in the description box. Also all the best buying links of the laptop mentioned in this video are down there too. Now for those working with deep learning, AI model training and large scale data pre-processing, these laptops deliver the CPU GPU power needed for high performance computing. The first one is the HP Victor 16 which is priced around 78,490. It includes Ryzen 7 7840HS, RTX 3050 with 6GB RAM, 16GB RAM and 1TB SSD. A powerful multi-core setup with GPU acceleration, making it ideal for dataset pre-processing, machine learning workflows and even deep learning experiments. The 16-inch display is a plus for coding, data visualization and model monitoring. Now the second option in this list is the Dell G15 which is priced around 75,990. It includes i5 13440HX, RTX 3050 with same 6GB RAM, 16GB of RAM and 1TB SSD. The strong multi-core performance boosts parallel processing, TensorFlow, PyTorch, batch training and complex ML pipelines. Plus superior cooling ensures stable performance during extended model training session. But what if you are ready to take things even further, stepping into deep learning models? If you are working with TensorFlow, PyTorch and model training, you will need something more powerful. The 80,000 to 1 lakh range offers some strong contenders that can handle small to mid-scale ML models without breaking a sweat. Just don't expect them to power full-fledged AI research models. So let's check out the best options available for you. 
Now for deep learning, AI research and high performance computing, the first laptop in this list is the HP Victus, which is priced around 94,999. It includes Intel Core i7-13620H, 8GB RTX 4060, 16GB of RAM and 1TB of SSD. It's optimized for deep learning, parallel processing and real-time AI computations. This setup provides ample storage for datasets, checkpoints and AI workflows. Now the second option is the HP Omen 16, which is priced around 1 lakh. It includes Ryzen 7 7840HS, RTX 4050, 16GB of RAM and 16.1 inch QSD 165Hz display. The ideal AI workstation capable of handling massive datasets, advanced ML models and detailed deep learning visualization. The high resolution QSD screen enhances clarity for coding and AI monitoring. Now for the budget friendly AI workstations. The first one is the Asus Top A15, which is priced around 83,990. It includes Ryzen 7 7735HS, RTX 4050, 16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of SSD. It excels in multi-threaded workloads, large dataset pre-processing, and AI inference, making it a great pick for scalable ML solutions. Now, the second option in this list is the Lenovo Log 15, which is priced around 91,690. It includes Ryzen 7 7435HX, 8 GB RTX 4060, 24 GB of RAM, and 512 GB of SSD. Strong Strong CPU performance and robust cooling makes it an ideal option for AI workloads, model fine tuning and accelerated ML training. But what if in case you need even more power? That's where the 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh range comes in. With RTX 4060 and 4070 GPUs, these laptops aren't just upgrade. They are the game changers for machine learning, artificial intelligence and even large language model training. So let's dive into the best choices. The first laptop in this list is the HP Victus AI, which is priced around 1 lakh 12,990. It includes Ryzen 9 8945HS, RTX 4060, 1TB SSD. It is best for entry-level deep learning, fine-tuning smaller LLMs and NLP tasks. The multi-threaded CPU ensures smooth training. It is ideal for TensorFlow, PyTorch and Scikit-learn libraries. Now the second option in this list is the Acer Predator Helios Neo 16, which is priced around 1,43,990. It includes Intel i7-14700HX, RTX 4060 and 1TB of SSD. It is excellent for parallel processing. Real time AI inference and ML pipelines. The RTX 4060 with CUDA tensor ray tracing cores handles small to medium LLMs and transformer models efficiently. Now the third option and probably the most powerful in this list is the Asus Tough Gaming A15 which is priced around 1,37,990. First it includes Ryzen 9 8945H, RTX 4070 with 8GB of VRAM and 1TB of SSD. A powerhouse for deep learning, reinforcement learning and generative AI. The RTX 4070 support FP16 precision or accelerated LLM training on mid-sized dataset, making it the best choice for scalable AI research. For AI researchers, machine learning engineers, and deep learning professionals, these laptops offer high core count CPUs and powerful graphic cards, perfect for LLM fine-tuning and AI-powered applications. Now, the first laptop in this list is the Lenovo Legion 5, which is priced around 1,68,000. It includes Intel i7-14650HX, 8GB of RTX 4070, 16GB of RAM and 1TB SSD. It is great for AI-driven research, computer vision and deep learning experiments. But what if portability and longer battery life matters as much as the power? Not everyone wants the bulky machine for the machine learning and data science. If you need thin and light laptops without sacrificing the performance, so here is what actually makes sense. So the very first laptop in this segment is the Asus VivoBook 16X, which is priced around 59990 it includes Intel Core i5-12500H, 16GB of RAM, RTX 2050, and 512GB of SSD. This laptop is marketed as a created series, so it includes RTX 2050, which means you can easily do GPU accelerated works like deep learning but at basic level. And you can also train ML models on this laptop. Now, as we increase the budget, we get to around and another laptop from the Asus, the Asus VBOOK 60, which is priced around 75,990. It includes Intel Core Ultra 5 125H processor, 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD. But this laptop does not come with NVIDIA graphic card, so you can't do GPU related works on this laptop, like accelerated work like deep learning or ML training. But you can do basic Python scripting, data analysis and basic level of ML training. If battery life and Mac OS matter, the MacBook Air M2 is a no-brainer, 15-20 to 20 hours on a charge. Fanless design and metal API acceleration for ML tasks. It works great for Python, Jupyter and cloud-based workflows. On the Windows side, the Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5 at the same price will give you an Ultra 9 185H, 32GB of RAM and 1TB of SSD. You are getting way more power than the MacBook Air. Better for multitasking, virtualization and handling large datasets. The trade-off, battery life isn't great and Windows isn't as optimized for AI workflows as the Mac OS. 
If you are going all in, MacBook Pro M4 is the best Apple has to offer. Unified memory, insane efficiency, and rock solid stability. This is where deep learning, LLM fine tuning, and heavy AI workflows start to feel smooth. The downside is the price. If you need GPU acceleration, it's still not the best pick. Now for those who want Windows but is still premium, Dell XPS 13 is a solid choice. It has a Snapdragon X Elite, clean design and a great display. It's not the most powerful but for portability and everyday AI workflows, it's a refined option. At the end of the day, it entirely depends upon your workflow. Need something efficient and rock solid stability? You need the MacBook. If you want raw power, then that's the only options. You should go with the Windows. Want to do deep learning models? GPU is a must choice. The best laptop is the one that aligns with your current projects while allowing room for the scalability. Whether you are fine tuning hyperparameters or optimizing training pipelines or just deploying AI models, having the right hardware makes all the difference. So finally, that wraps up today's video. Hope this helped you in finding the best laptop for your needs. Check out the reviews in the description box for more details. And all the best buying links are there too. These are affiliate links. So if you purchase through them, you are supporting the channel with no extra cost to you. And if you want more in-depth tech breakdowns, then don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future updates. And as always, be happy, keep vibing and I will see you in the next one.